This is a Tesla Model 3 Performance. You can see that because it's got this little red underline below the dual motor. Has roughly a 75-ish kilowatt hour battery pack, about 450 horsepower when new, but then it's been sent software updates which have made it faster throughout my ownership period. This is my car. It has 106, 107,000 miles on it, something like this. And we have another Tesla Model 3 performance from the same vintage. This one's a 2020 car, mine is a 2019, but this is before heat pump and everything like this. But you can also tell, of course, it's a Model 3 performance with the underline. So what we wanna find out is, does mileage affect acceleration? And so we have the cars at the exact same state of charge. They are roughly at about the same temperature. We did pretty much the same things with both of them. And we're going to see which is faster. Now, in terms of wheel and tire, they're both on 20 inch wheels. This one looks a little silly because it's actually the new wheel for the Model 3 Performance. And it's on a slightly different tire. This one's a Pirelli, that one's a Michelin, but roughly summer performance tires in the same size-ish and both 20 inch wheels. Uh, again, 30,000 miles on this one, roughly 100,000 miles roughly on this one. So this is uh, as scientific as we can make it here, but both cars have had really rough lives. I've actually done a degradation test on this car and it's lost roughly 10% of battery capacity from new. I haven't done a test on this particular car, but the battery certainly is holding up a little bit better. It's just had less use, but both cars get supercharged a lot. This car gets driven on track a lot. This thing's just been flogged in autocrossing and track days and stuff like that. This has had quite a bit of track time, but nothing really consistent. So. They both had just really hard lives thrown at them. And uh, again, roughly the same vintage of car, one model year difference, but not a huge change in drivetrain. And um, basically 73% state of charge in both cars. And then we just floor it, simple. Side note, our eagle-eyed viewers will probably be saying, well, doesn't this car look lower to the ground? The answer is yes, it's on KW V3 coilovers, which doesn't really totally affect the acceleration, but it does mean that the car is not going to squat as much, which means it should deliver a little bit more power to the ground. However, again, we're just pulling at strings here. This one's on 20-inch uh, wheels that are a couple pounds lighter than this car, so it's as close as we could get it, but pretty much what we're going to be focusing on is straight line acceleration here, and this is about as close as a match as we could get. We're not using track mode. We're not using slip start. We're just going to be flooring it from zero. I'm at 73%. You're at 73%. 73. All right, well, uh, I'm going to film my power meter. You want to film your power meter? Sounds good. And then we will floor it when everyone says we can go. Three, two, one. Go. So after one run, I've dipped down to 71%. You're at 72, which means you probably have more usable capacity than me. And also I probably have a little bit more resistance. Let's do a 30 roll. All right. All right, so we're gonna get up to 30 miles an hour. Uh, 29, 30. I got the jump on him. I got the jump. <laughs> He's sitting right here though. Well, that was some interesting results. Actually, not what I was expecting at all. I expected my car, I'm a heavier person with probably more junk in my car, to just fall way behind. And honestly, we got a start even, and I think I had just a little bit less traction. If you look over here, you'll see a couple of 
loose pavement things. I mean, it really was about as near as makes no difference, which, you know, I just expected, especially at speed, Drew's car, the lesser mileage one, to just start pulling away. And that's not honestly what we had seen. So that's what happens. I guess mileage doesn't really affect performance that much. Now there's more testing we could do. We could run 50 times. We could do range testing and all this stuff. But in terms of actual raw acceleration, I thought the built up resistance in that pack would make it slower. And the answer is it's the same. Even when we did our 30 roll, I got the jump on Drew, but you can see in the footage, we're both wide open throttle and he's not gaining or losing. We are just neck and neck. And I got to say, that's, that's, very impressive. I wonder how that would be with other electric cars with different mileage. You can see Drew's lining up over here now. We're going to do two more runs. We're switching sides though. I should probably put it in drive before I launch it backwards. Um, we're going to let the EQS go up there and get to the finish line. That EQS is so comfortable by the way. And everyone's been commenting about my windshield crack. Wait until you see this crack up here if that really bothered you. Yes, I've, I have to order two new pieces of glass for this car. Anyway, we'll do that, and uh, this is going to be a best two out of three, so I'm just amazed at how close these cars are. It's just incredible. This is just bonus content. I guess I should straighten ourselves out just a little bit more. Instant launch. Look at that. Here he is right here. Wide open. It's neck and neck. Oh, take a look at how close we are. He's inching slightly. Take a look at him. You can see he's just, just inching. That could just be arrow driving the wheels. I mean, it is so freaking close. <laughs> it is, there's nothing in between them. They're the same. Wow. Now, what would be really interesting is to have a really hot battery and a really cold battery or a normal battery in the middle, too. There's so many different configurations we should do and can do. Um, that is just amazing how we're getting perfect launches too. Two times in a row, we launched at the same freaking time. So let's see what he wants to do here. Take a look out your window this way. What do you, you want to do another drag this way, uphill? Sure. All right, let me back up a little bit. Actually, let's go up here. It looks to be a better launching surface. Yeah, right here. Okay. Let me roll. How, how Both times, dead even. Let's not mess it up this time. <laughs> All right, you film him and we'll launch and then he'll film us. All right. Perfect launch again. Oh, he's getting us a little bit there. He's getting us a little bit. Oh yeah, this could be that my battery pack's just getting a little bit hot. Take a look here at the power meter. Going all the way. <laughs> Definitely seems like he has a little bit more thermal longevity than we do. Wow. <laughs> Pelted with rocks. Good thing I need a new windshield already. We gotta sweep the uh, runway. We're gonna hire one of those street cleaners. This is our first day out here, so we're just figure filming different combinations of stuff. That is pretty impressive. So you can see you were pulling me on that run. Yeah. And I think that this probably gets hotter quicker. Hotter quicker? Because more resistance. Interesting. Here, let me... Um, what state of charge are you at? Uh, 66. 65. Okay. So it's still staying 1%, which maybe is just like... Could be just BMS. Right. So, so that's not a massive difference. Yeah. Um, let's just keep going. You want to do another one? Yeah. All right. Let's do another one. Make sure Timon knows so he doesn't pull out, though. That would, that would suck. We'll test the safety of the EQS. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another one. Oh, I got the jump on him that time. And we're hooking hard. <laughs> we're hooking. But he's starting to creep forwards. He's creeping. <laughs> yeah, I think I think at speed this thing's probably that's that's at least maintaining power pretty well. Although I will say both cars are probably thermal throttling a little bit. <laughs> Let's just do it again. Electric cars. 
they should be able to handle this. So I, I jumped you there a little bit, but at the end you were coming up. Well, let's do it again. Oh, I jumped him again a little bit. But now he's coming up on us. Look at him pulling. We're uphill too. I got the jump and he's just itching. way to drain the battery very quickly if you can do this kind of thing. We've done 15% state of charge so far. <laughs> well, this is just lounging out in the chair. <laughs> I think I'll keep my window cracked. It's getting a little toasty in here. Yeah. Are you running window down the whole time? Yes. Huh. That's more drag. I have windows up. Windows, window, no, sorry. Uh, <laughs> bye. By by down I meant up. Oh okay, that makes sense. Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, clearly a little bit of uh, a difference there. Definitely, we're starting to see more of a difference. Yeah. But cold car for car, right? Dead even, no question. And now you're and even more with each run, you're starting to do more. Yeah. I let's know. just do it. Let's do two more. Okay. So we'll go down and back. Okay. I can smell brakes. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect launch. And yeah, you can see he's pulling us. He's definitely pulling on us. There goes the EQS. This car is old. Yeah, it definitely, <laughs> it definitely is getting cycled. That's for sure. This poor old thing it seems to take it just fine, though. Sixty percent state of charge. Let's ask him what he's at, actually. What state of charge? Sixty-one. Ah, oh, sixty. So it's it's holding. Okay, so that's yeah, that's staying safe. Definitely, you're getting much faster. Yeah. So that's where the age is coming into a play. Right, right. All right, last one. Perfect launch again. And he is just pulling on us. Oh yeah, you can see our power limit here is really backing off. And he is just walking us. If you have an electric car with a very high or low mileage number and you know someone with the opposite, let us know. We should do more of these. That was super fun. And we learned something. I learned something. I expected a much bigger difference. Thanks for watching.